for the first lab exercise, uh, we are going to take an existing program and we are going to be adding input validation to that program. So you're going to create a new project uh, called Chapter 7, Input Validation. You're going to take this code, and I'm just going to press Control and A, and Control and the letter C to copy. I'm going to paste it over here. And this little demo. And you'll paste it into your chapter seven input validation. And then what we need to do is we need to validate this. And then you'll also notice that we have another one of them down here. So we're gonna do similar validation code for both. And we're gonna be using try parse. And try parse is going to take the string input and try to convert it into integer. So, <laughs> Instead of using int parse here, we are going to create a string menu variable, and I'm just going to call it string menu, and set that equal to console.readline. Okay, and then I'm going to comment this out. Uh, I need to code the try parse. And as long as it cannot do the conversion, I want it in an error handling loop. So, I mean, the way I would normally code it is, you know, int.tryParse, and then you give it your, the string variable, a comma, out, and then the uh, variable that you want to put the output in, in our case, it's menu. I mean, so that is normally, you know, how you would do it. Uh, now, it does not like that we've made menu nullable up here. So we need to get rid of the nullable and we do not need to set it. We don't need to initialize it to a value. Okay, so um, that is what we are going to be checking. And so we're gonna stick this inside a wall loop. And right now, the condition is basically uh, going to go into the loop if this works. But we don't want it to go in the loop if it works. We want to go into the loop if it does not work. So we are going to put the not in front of it. Okay, so if this does not work, if it cannot do the conversion, we have a problem with our integer. It's not a valid number. So we're going to display that. All right, so we're giving them a nice prompt here. And we're going to read it in again. So basically, it's going to stay in this loop until uh, it gives us a valid number. Now, we could take it one step further. And this is going to be totally up to you guys. But um, I mean, you could after we get out of this and we know the number is valid, we could then continue and we could do another little check here uh, on menu. Uh, while the menu is less than one or the menu is greater than four. And then we have a problem because the number's not valid. Okay, so we could do
All right. So now we would be reading this in again. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this. But if we do this again, and we've got to do all of this again. So I'll just copy this. Okay, because uh, we could get into the situation where um, they aren't entering a valid number. So uh, here we're checking now for a range and reading it in, uh, making sure that it's valid. And again, checking it for the number that we want. So that will work. That is an awful lot of code. Uh, so since we have to repeat it down here, um, you know, you could put it into a method. Uh, I'm not going to, but you certainly could because uh, it is repetitive code. And that's typically when we pull it out and put it in the method. All right, so now we've got that same code uh, in two different places. And I can see I forgot to get my string here. So I need my string menu equals pull that right line or read line. Long day. Here we go. <laughs> read line. Okay. Alrighty, so that handles that input. Uh, then there's a couple additional things that we also need to validate. Um, for those of you who want to put this into a method, I am going to go ahead and show you how. Uh, so we're going to create another method down here. And so this is going to be static. And I'm going to return integer. Let's see. All right, this is really the code that is repeating. Actually, all of it is validation. So by the time we get down here, we will have that integer to return. Turn new. Oh, new. Which we're going to have to declare it in here. Okay. okay, so it is going to return the validated menu selection. So to do. So we don't really need this anymore. Let me change this name just a little bit. And then let me take this, copy this nice little polite statement down here. Okay, so let's get rid of all that. 
And we are going to set this equal to the name of the method, which is validate menu. Okay. Oh, wait, we don't need this either because we just have moved this out. It's going to make our main method much shorter. Okay. Oops, I'm going to change that back to menu so I don't, <laughs> being lazy, I don't want to change all this code. Okay. So then this is going to need to be repeated. And at the bottom of this loop. So we're going to take all of this code out and replace it with that single line. Okay, so we did make quite a few changes. I'm going to go ahead and run this. Okay, so it displayed the menu, so let's see if it retrieves our choice. It did. The name, sure it still works. All right, let's quit. Okay. Uh, so that was our first task. Uh, that was probably the most difficult task. So now we just have a couple other things that we need to validate. Uh, we need to validate the name. Uh, and then in our add list method, we need to validate number and new members. So let's look up here in our main method where we are getting name. Okay, yes, that would make sense to validate this to make sure that it's not null or empty. So after we read in name, before we see if that name is in the list, we need to make sure that it is not uh, blank, it's not null, and it's not empty. So we're going to say while, and this is a string method, string dot is null or empty, and we're going to pass it name. So while that is true, or string dot is null or white space, and we're passing that name. Okay, so while this is true, it's null or empty, or this is true, it's null or white space, we have a problem and we need to fix it. Okay, so we're gonna stay in the loop here and we are going to display a little message. You entered a name that is null, empty, for all spaces. Please try again. And then we're going to read it in again. Okay, so that is the validation that we need for our name string. And then once we verify that, yes, it does have something in it, then we can check for it in our list. And this is actually a deletion section. So if it's in the, the list, it'll be deleted. Okay. Then our last thing that we need to do is down here in add list. Let's see, how many members do you wish to add? So here we have the integer that we have to validate again. So this is going to be pretty much like what we did up here. So I am going to copy and paste the code. This is going to change to a string. 
And I'm just going to call it string number. Get rid of the int parse because this needs to be read in as a string. And then we have int number, which we're just going to declare. So while not, while this does not work, int dot try parse, converting string number to number. So while that doesn't work, that means we don't have an integer. And uh, we can just simply tell them to try again. And so we are going to store it in string number. All right. So by the time we are done here, we know that we have a number. Now, I'm not checking it for any kind of range. So if you wanted to add rules about how many members they can add, that's fine. Uh, but we are ensuring that it is an integer. Uh, and then for the uh, member name, we want to make sure that the member name that they have typed is not null, empty, or blanks. We don't want to put it into uh, new members. We don't want to put it into our array unless we know that it is valid. Okay, so I'm going to comment this out. What we're going to do is we are going to read the data into a temporary variable. So I'm just going to call it temp name. So we're reading it into a temporary variable that we now will check to see if it is null or empty. And we've already got that code in here. So what we're going to do is copy and paste, because that just makes our life so much easier. OK, so where are you down here? All right, so now we're checking temp name. And so by the time we get out of this loop, uh, temp name is valid. I mean, it, we know it has something in it. OK, so uh, we then can put temp name into our array. Okay, so now I have everything validated and I can save it and run it for a test. Okay, so we'll go ahead and display, let's add. Uh, so now let's, you know, test and make sure it's working, right? Because we put the validation here, so I'm going to do this. Now it's telling me to try again. So let me actually put in a real number. Let me press enter. Remember, we validated this too. Okay, try again. Um, let's see, Huey. Let me see. Let's try a space. Okay, smart program. Uh, so we'll do Dewey. All right, let's print. And they are in our list. And so let's do a bogus number here because we put validation on this too. Okay, number between one and four, let's do three. Uh, this is another area where we uh, did the validation on the names. So let's just press enter. Now let's do a space. Or let's do a valid name. We'll do Daisy. All right, let's print it out. Daisy is gone. And now we'll go ahead and quit.